Hello everyone, this is Leslie with this is Leslie Onstead with the Art of Light and Color. Today we're going to do another polypore swipe using Primer Element Stargazer, Majestic Blue, Snapdragon. Um, I'm also working with a little bit of uh, Liquitex Light Teal and a color called Mystic Blue. So I'm, I'm repurposing a canvas. This was one I used to um, practice cleaning off my balloon <laughs> with when I was doing my balloon dips. That first color I put down is the Stargazer. Now the Polypore is a new acrylic blend that we've created so you mix in the primary elements and begin to pour. You don't have to add any pouring medium. You don't have to add any water. We've made the correct blend consistency so you can just mix and pour and because we are unique and we offer a dry paint system it is logical that we need to create a blend for you guys to use um, that color is stargazer Stargazer is a stargazer is a blue violet but it is in an interference green base and boy it shimmers beautifully when it's being poured with other colors This is the Liquitex Light Teal. Sometimes it's nice to have a solid color to give your eye a place to rest, especially when you're using shimmery colors on most of your piece, which all the primary elements are very brilliant shimmering colors. This next color is the Stargazer. It's a very beautiful violet. I liked how that teal looked uh, dripping into my Snapdragon. So I thought that was a cool effect. I changed my mind right there. I wanted something lighter between the majestic blue and the snapdragon so really my only choice was the gold or more of the stargazer so I opted for more stargazer Another thing with the tilting is I want to make sure the paint is giving us good coverage but I don't want so much paint on there that it takes too long to dry or my uh, cells get sloppy and lose their form. So the goal is to put just the right amount of paint on there and swipe over the top. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Easier said than done but we can try.
so on the bottom I you know felt like I was running out of paint but because of gravity and all that paint being pulled down I just needed a real thin coverage there in the bottom So at this point I'm kind of squeezing out every last drop and I realize I want a little more contrast. I know I haven't used my gold yet but I've decided I'm going to just vein, lightly put a gold vein in just the Liquitex teal, that light teal color. And while I was doing this I was thinking about what is another color I'm going to use and I ended up grabbing mystic blue you'll see me mix it here in just a couple seconds once I get this gold veining in Now the reason why I have chose to put the gold on top of the Liquitex is the Liquitex is a solid opaque color and it felt like our bright gold would pop on top of that teal, that solid opaque color. So at this point I decide I need to mix up another color and the beautiful thing of the polypore, I don't have to sit and stop and mix a bunch of water and pouring medium in there. I'm just taking a couple scoops of the Mystic Blue, putting it in the cup of the polypore. I know that I have it out of the camera, I didn't do it over the camera, but literally this is in real time. I'm, <laughs> I'm stirring it but you can't see me stir it. There we go. It's just a very nice dark uh, turquoise, which I felt would add a lot of contrast in that light stargazer color. And then towards the end, you'll notice that I put it in the top. I kind of want to. Uh, add a little more contrast to that majestic blue on the top. That's kind of a heavy blue line on the top. Here we go. So I thought it would add a little bit more interest. One thing about swipes is never judge a book by a cover. So here, since my last swipe I used way too much black, I'm trying to be careful just to make sure the edge has some white and that edge is fully covered. And then I'm going to pour a little bit of extra white in there. So I have something to pull. And I'm using my Yupo paper I used yesterday that I took to the sink and washed off. It is stained with some paints I tested. Very shimmery blue Yupo paper. 
I love the texture of the UPO. It's the perfect weight. Now, you see, I tapped the tap, tap of that down into the white paint. I made sure that the UPO had a chance to kind of cling and hug that white paint on the top. Looks like I used just the perfect amount of white. Now, I have other um, sizes of UPO already cut. So I tried to use this one along the side and it kind of skipped. So I did a little more tiny pool of white and a smaller piece of the UPO. I use my UPO strips for both resin work for swiping and for acrylic. So here's a close up. I'm digging the cells we're getting already. These form pretty darn fast. I mean, they just popped. I haven't had a chance to torch this thing yet. I think I torch it at the end just because I saw some bubbles. I did not need to torch it at all to get the cells to reveal themselves. Let's see if I can't show you guys a couple different sections and move this around carefully. I started to say earlier, never judge a book by the cover. You never know what you're going to get on a swipe. I am really, really happy with this. This is just the perfect amount of white paint. And I'm loving this color combination. And here's our close-up. These colors are just beautiful. You're going to get little blasts of sparkle. Now that light teal we know is a solid opaque, but then you'll see a little blast of gold shimmering or the violet, that snapdragon, a little bit of purple there. Little bits of gold. I'm loving how the blue is popping that iridescence and you see the center of that blue it looks like a like little icy light icy caps that's that stargazer it's a blue violet but in an interference green base and boy is it pretty i am so pleased with how this uh, white is lacing over the top of the paint It really is magnificent how the mystic blue and the majestic blue are just loving it. And that those blitzes, bits of green sparkle, that's the stargazer popping up. Apologies if my camera is moving just a little bit too quickly. So there you have it folks, my 16 by 20 made with primary elements and vivid polypore. I want to thank you for joining us and please like, subscribe and share if you've enjoyed this content. Thank you. Bye bye.